This is USA Racer on the PlayStation 2. At first I found this game kind of fun, but then the more I played it, the more ridiculously annoying I found the game. And it's got to the point now where I just think the game is complete shite. So, let's take a close look at the back. So there it says the ultimate race through the USA. I'd say it's anything but ultimate. Down here it says uh, wave hello to the president as you speed past the White House and do never before seen stunts in the movie studios of Hollywood. Now, I'm not really sure why it says that because you can't do either of those things in the game so that's kind of weird. And uh, you can see the characters as well and the cars that you can drive in the game. So you've got like the Bolt there who drives a cab, uh, Holly who drives um, this... Uh, 1950s Cadillac I think it's supposed to be although you can't actually drive that particular vehicle in the main game you uh, you drive her vehicle in the main game is like a modern uh, convertible sports car uh, you've got Suave there with his uh, limousine uh, the Duke with his 4x4 Slam D with his truck and Pops with his old fashioned truck yeah. And there's the disc and the manual. Um, I do quite like the design on the front cover of the manual and the disc. Uh, unfortunately though, these are pretty much the only good things that the game has got going for it. And the game was made in 2002. So, let's take a look at USA Racer on the PlayStation 2. Okay so this is a race menu. Under single player you've got single race, tournament and time trial. Tournament is the main game. Uh, under two players you've got duel and cop versus racer. And this is the character selection screen. So with each different vehicle you'll get a different character. Uh, there's not that many vehicles to choose from. When you complete the game, you will unlock a load more vehicles, so you do end up with quite a large vehicle selection, but unfortunately you can't choose any of the unlocked vehicles when you're playing through the main game. You can only choose them when you're playing uh, on time trial or single race. So if you haven't guessed already by the title of the game, uh, this is basically an all-American racing game. It's uh, it's really cheesy and carny and not in a good way either, it's just in a lame way really. So in the main game on each track you've got these different pickups, you've got green spanners, uh, blue chevrons and money signs. The green spanners will repair your car to a certain extent, uh, the chevrons they'll fill up your nitro meter to a certain extent again and uh, the money signs they'll obviously give you money uh, the red money signs are worth more than the orange money signs and the orange money signs are worth more than the yellow money signs so your car can get damaged in the game it won't affect the performance but if the damage meter fills up completely then you'll be out of the race so this is the garage which you get in between each race and you can uh, you can repair your car, uh, you can fill up your nitro meter, or you can upgrade and all of these things will cost money. You can also change the colour of your vehicle as well and that's for free. Uh, when you upgrade the vehicle, it will make it faster obviously, um, and it will change the vehicle visually a little bit as well. It might give your vehicle a spoiler or some go faster stripes or whatever. And before each race you get this race preview where you get this annoying, cheesy, corner American guy uh, giving you a rundown of, of what the track is like and you know and where you're going to be racing and, and whatever. It's just kind of cringe-worthy to be honest. Would make even a cow squirt milkshakes. It's a midday showdown and this is no time to drive weak. So the handling of the vehicles is pretty bad. Uh, a few vehicles aren't too bad although the handling isn't perfect um, but most of the vehicles just handle like shit um, it's really difficult to try and even just keep them going in a straight line 
the other people who you're racing against, and especially the police who chase after you, can be really, really annoying. Um, sometimes they'll do stuff like this to your car. Um, sometimes they'll even get stuck on your car as well, like they might get end up stuck on top of your car, which will keep your car slowed down and it's really hard to shake them off. Now, every single time you crash, as long as you crash hard enough and you don't have to crash that hard, the game will go into total slow motion for a few seconds before going back to the right speed again. Um, and if you're crashing a lot in the game, which you probably will be doing, because like I said, a lot of the other vehicles will be crashing into you regularly. Um, the police do. Uh, it's difficult to try and keep your vehicle in a straight line. Uh, so if you're crashing a lot of the time in the game, then the fact that it goes into slow motion almost every single time you crash gets really annoying really quickly. So because of the vehicles being really difficult to control and you know you'll be crashing a lot because of the fact that it, the game slows down almost every single time you crash because of the fact that you get vehicles stuck on top of your vehicle and you can't shake them off and that keeps you slow down the fact that you get other vehicles like spinning you out and crashing into you and stuff it just makes the game really really annoying to play I think this is probably one of the most annoying games that I've ever played Graphics are okay, the kind of cartoon, um, a little bit basic for the PS2, the sound isn't anything special and the music's just kind of boring and generic, it's just sounds like the kind of stuff that you would have heard on the radio um, probably around 10 or 15 years ago or something. So the game's got three difficulties. It's uh, it's quite a bit of a challenge on the hardest difficulty. Um, and after you've completed the game, there isn't really much to go back to. Like I said, you do unlock vehicles, but you can't use them in the tournament mode. So really, the only thing that you can do with the game after you've completed it is either uh, play against another player, or you can just uh, do the time trial races and try and get good times. Um, to be honest, this is a game that I'm never going to bother with playing again. The only reason why I played this game for so long, and um, the, the only reason why I played this game through to completion, is, uh, is just so I can do this review on it. So yeah, to sum it up, really bad game. It's... Uh, it looks and feels like it's cheaply made, it's really corny and cheesy, not in a good way, just in a lame way. It's really fucking annoying, um, not much to go back to once you've completed it. And um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say to be honest. Um, even though you can get this game for ridiculously cheap, I think I may have only paid 75p for this. Um, I don't think it's worth it, I wouldn't recommend it at all. Um, it does kind of seem like it's a game that's mainly for the for the younger kids or whatever. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.